Welcome back. Today will be one of the most important days we will spend together for sessions. Why? Because you're going to learn the methodology, the strategy, the, the I hate the word secret, but the methods and the, and the concepts and the system I have used to generate well in excess of $2 billion worth of profits for my clients and myself with zero cost, zero uh, risk, and um, massive profitability. It's called, the, the concept is called uh, leveraging, excuse me, the concept is called Monetizing, maximizing, and managing relational capital. Now I've got to explain what relational capital is. It is a multitude of intangible elements that exist within and outside of your business that can give you infinite access to almost any resource you ever want. Let me restate it. Most small businesses starting out or even existing for a while believe they are stuck with limitations and constraints. Not enough capital, not enough uh, salespeople, not enough products, not uh, enough marketing, ability, not enough uh, 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 credibility, not enough technology. None of that is ever really a problem. And the reason is that somebody else in another business or in another media or some individual who could be an icon or a thought leader already possesses whatever and everything you could possibly want. And all you have to do is figure out how to structure either a joint venture, a strategic alliance, a what we call power partner partnership, a affiliate arrangement, a distributorship deal, a licensing deal, or buying or selling a right. Now, let me explain to you what that could look like. And then let me explain why it's so valuable. So let's say that you sell a product, and let's say that you sell this product to Hmm, dress shops. And you don't have any salespeople, it's just you. And you don't have a lot of buyers right now, but it's a great product. And you have the ability to manufacture or to purchase uh, almost an infinite amount, but you don't have the ability to really hire and pay for salespeople. You don't have the ability to uh, travel and pay for that. You know, the ability to go to trade shows. You would think that you're limited, wouldn't you? But you're not. Because you have the ability to find other people, other companies, other selling groups that already sell to dress shops but do not sell anything remotely competitive to yours and structure a joint venture with them where they take your product or service and offer that to their market as well. Let's say that you are doing really well in one city, but you, you don't have the funds or the ability to grow in other cities or even other parts of your city because you'd have to lease facilities, you'd have to hire people, you'd have to put up a lot of money, sign long-term leases, et cetera, et cetera. Well, now you don't have to do that because there's always going to be somebody else in a complementary or supplemental business that already has facilities that you can 
joint venture with, that already has sales teams, that already has display space, that already has prime location. And all you have to do is utilize your creativity. And I'm going to tell you how to do that at the end of this session. But I'm going to walk you through two different lists of reasons why you very much need to focus a huge portion of your business attention on structuring relational capital deals. I should probably tell you two or three stories first. Story one, me. I used to be very big in the seminar business all over the world. We did a quarter billion dollars, $250 million in two and a half years. Didn't spend much of anything. Why? Because we went to all kinds of other organizations that already had the entrepreneurial targets we wanted. We went to business magazines. We went to Tony Robbins. We went to people like uh, Learning Edge. We went to people who were consulting firms. We went to people who were business book publishers and we got them all to endorse and partner with us. So we only paid them when they produced results for us. So when I went to do a seminar, they would all send very, very powerful and positive letters, emails, uh, webinars to their list about me and my event. We would only pay them after they had generated attendees that paid us $5,000 or $15,000 or $25,000 a piece. I had a client that was a very small seller of gold bullion, gold bars, and they sold it to investors. And they were trying very hard to grow running ads in magazines and, and newspapers and it was producing very little results. So I went out and I did joint ventures with financial newsletters, newsletters that had paid subscribers who wanted to learn about the economy or wanted to learn about uh, different kinds of investing or wanted to learn about uh, the stock market. And those newsletters endorsed our gold business because we were not directly competitive. And they built us a two billion, not two million, two billion dollar business. That's what is possible. A company called Colonial Pen in the United States had an alliance, they actually helped fund it, with an organization called the American Association of Retired People. And that generated for them literally, literally, billions of dollars a year in insurance premiums. Today in the United States, I don't know about Japan, but places like Starbucks, banks, fast food chains are joint venturing with grocery stores that have lots of traffic and they are taking space within them and they are partnering and doing outrageously successful sales. Somebody else already has whatever you need resource-wise. In fact, in your workbook, you will see that we identified, I don't remember the exact number, I want to say it's 100, but it's close to it or, or, or a little bit over that number. We call it OPR, Other People's Resources That You Could Gain Control Of. Sales forces, brand endorsement, licenses, uh, distribution, uh, uh, space in trade shows to display at booths, and on and on and on. So let me explain to you some of the real benefits so you'll get real excited. And there's two categories. One is just the very quick nine benefits, and I'll read them because I want to make sure, and I'll comment. And then there's 43 other ones. And when you understand this, you're going to get so excited. You're not going to be able to sleep tonight. But you're going to realize, because you're going to realize, that whatever it is you want or need resource-wise, it's all within your reach without risking 
anything without uh, spending any money. It's just going to be you spending your creative genius, and you all possess creative genius, contacting and talking and negotiating with the people that already have what you need. So let me tell you nine major benefits of doing what I call a strategic alliance, a joint venture, power partnering. Number one, you can use these methods to achieve advantages of scale, scope, or speed. You can double or redouble or triple your business overnight without any expenditure by using other people's markets, other people's uh, sales force, other people's buyers, other people's retailers. You can reach, you can be regional, national, international overnight by using other people's facilities, retail, sales forces. You can do it quickly and with no risk because you're plugging into what already exists. Number two, you can increase market penetration. Right now, you may only be on the east side of your city or in just your city. But overnight, by making partnerships with other people that are not competitive but have strong representation, strong buyer bases in other cities and other markets in the same industry or other industries you want to penetrate, you can instantly penetrate as many markets and as much geography as your mind can possibly believe. Number three, you can enhance the competitiveness you have in local, national, or international markets. When you align and partner with another company or a media group, magazine, internet, website, that has enormous respect, trust, and following, all their credibility automatically becomes yours. So instead of struggling to try to establish who in the heck you are in a market, you establish, you instantly start at the very top and all your competitors immediately have a disadvantage. And one of the real interesting elements of business is your goal is to constantly put maximum positive advantage in your hands and unknowingly move maximum ethical disadvantage over to your competitors. They don't even know that you put it on their shoulders. And that's what this does. Number four, you can enhance product development. We talked about the three ways to grow a business. We talked about adding to the front end, adding to the back end, introducing new products every year or services. But what we didn't say is you don't have to do it yourself. You can go out and joint venture with somebody who's already got products. You can joint venture with somebody who's got the capacity to create products. You can joint venture with somebody who's got a product that you can repurpose or a service that you can repurpose in your industry or vice versa. You can take your product, you can take your service, you can take your type of a business and introduce it to other people's industries. It's a two-way valve. It's very exciting. Number five, you can develop new business opportunities through your products, other products. So now you are not restricted and limited. You have infinite possibilities and infinite opportunities. Think about it. Instead of saying, oh, my, my, my life, my business world, it's going to be limited. Uh, my destiny is here. Now the window, the glass ceiling just broke open. You have as much opportunity as you're willing to go after. And it's not going to cost any risk. It needn't cost any capital. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. We have a shortened explanation chapter in your workbook that fully explains the whole concept. And when you read it, it will liberate you and you'll see how much is possible. And you'll see avenues of opportunity and profitability and your mind will explode with how much you can start and how fast you can start doing it. 
and how safely you can do it and how many ways you can do it at the same time. And it will just blow your mind wide open. Number six, you can create new businesses at will. Instead of struggling with one business, you can have all kinds of businesses at will in all kinds of cities. You can have partners, joint ventures, all day long in it, and you don't have to invest a cent. Your investment is your intellectual capital and the knowledge you're gaining from me that almost no one else out there knows. Very great advantage. Number seven, you can get control of tangible and intangible assets. Think about it. Uh, somebody might have products they no longer sell. You can get access to them and use them to sell to your market, to use as bonuses. Some may have uh, uh, excess, excess inventory. You can get control of, I just yesterday got control of 50,000 units of, uh, of courses on Spanish, French, and German that are worth a million dollars and I have total control to do whatever I want with it. Years ago, I got control of two million dollars, or excuse me, three million dollars worth of advertising because it was unsold and somebody needed to find a way to use it. I didn't have to put a penny up. I had to put up the creativity to know that I could figure out how to use it. And you'll understand that more when you study the explanation. I'm trying to give you the big picture. The workbook gives you a lot of detail. And then we're going to have uh, a wonderful last bonus that are going to be the kind of questions you should be asking and me answering them. So now let's talk about the 43 factors that you should know about because they're pretty cool. I call them profit levers that are available. And a couple of them are going to be repetitive, so I will skip over them. And these are all listed in your workbook. Number one, a strategic alliance, a joint venture, a power prof profiting or power partnering arrangement can be easily set up. Doing it yourself, you got to go into the market, you got to spend capital, build a building, lease a building, hire people, buy equipment. You don't have to do any of that. You just make a deal with somebody who's already got all that, already invested all that. And you also get as your bonus their credibility, their team, their selling staff, their internal operations, their delivery people, their computer people. It's fabulous. Number two, it adds dramatically to your selling efforts. Remember, I don't remember if it was the last or the last or the last, but one of our segments, we walked you through the Power Parthenon. And we showed you that every additional revenue pillar you established could add five or 10 or 15% more sales. But because your overhead was being absorbed by your basic, the, the diving board, everything else was far more profitable. So every joint venture, every strategic alliance, every power profiting arrangement you set up can be twice, thrice, sometimes four times more profitable than the normal business you generate on your own. I know it sounds ironic, but it's true. It gets better. It increases your total sales and multiplies your profitability. Now, what every business wants is increased sales and multiplied profitability. But most of them can't figure out how to do it without spending a lot of money on marketing and sales staff and and investment and, and advertising. Now you can eliminate all that and gain the outcome, which is increased sales, multiplied profitability. Number four, it lowers the barrier of entry, meaning right now for you to enter a market takes time, money. For you to enter a different country would take time and money. For you to enter a different city, staff, money, advertising. Now you can instantly enter any market, any city, any 
country, any industry by just making a partnership with somebody who's already established, already has credibility, already has clients, already has a reputation, trust, credibility, and access to the market you want. Number five, it enhances your image, your stature, your posture. When I got started, nobody knew who I was. But when Tony Robbins, who was very popular, told them I was great, then they thought I was great. When Success Magazine told them I was great, they thought I was great. When five famous business authors told them I was great, they thought I was great. When you align with somebody who's well-established and trusted and has a strong, reputable, and meaningful brand, you get the benefit of all the years they've taken to build that brand, all the money they've expended, all the effort they've made and they continue to make, that becomes yours also instantaneously in a heartbeat. Number six, you dramatically expand your client base. You can go from, when I, when I was in the seminar business, we created 40,000 seminar attendees in two years without spending almost any money. And the average person spent $12,500 with us. Big money, big money. You can do that kind with no cash, no capital, no risk, no investment, just by knowing how to make the deals happen. Number seven, you boost your market presence. Right now, they may not even know who you are, but when you are partnered with somebody prominent and their salespeople and their retail stores or their distributors or their, uh, their booths at the trade shows are promoting you also, you're 